have a Joey DeFrancesco. A Neve. Joey DeFrancesco. Are you there? Needed me. Yes, Joey DeFrancesco. You got me? Yep. Please say uh, your name and that and where you live, and you have two minutes. Hi, this is Joey DeFrancesco. I lived in Providence uh, for most of my life, currently in a period where I'm living in um, Warren. Um, I've been involved in these fights around the police in different phases um, for a very long time, and I'm again echoing everyone else, urging you all to um, defund and on the way to abolishing the police. Um, every time throughout the years the community brings up these issues, it's a fight with the city government. Um, we get little to no serious leadership, and we have to spend months and years fighting for these incremental changes. Um, it's time for these real changes to happen now. And I always have to keep asking, why do we have to organize and fight this hard over and over and over again? Um, Council people, Matos and Castillo, I worked for hours knocking doors on your first election campaigns, along with other hotel workers, um, to elect you to stand up for working people. I also worked in campaign with uh, Councilperson Miller, and I'm very happy to see you um, standing up to clearly want to defund the police. Um, I support and echo all the incredible moving testimonies we've heard so far, and won't repeat those points. One area of expertise I do have is that I've worked as a historian at various museums in Rhode Island, including Slater Mill and John Brown House for years. And so I've seen this history, these primary documents showing that policing, this state, was developed to first enforce enslavement, and then after emancipation in Rhode Island, which didn't happen that long ago, right? It didn't happen fully until the 1840s. Police acted to circumscribe and remove the freedom of formerly enslaved people and their descendants by kicking them out of communities, by imprisoning them, barring them from employment and more. At the same time, policing emerges during workers' strikes, beginning in the 1820s, going back to the first factory strike in American history in Pawtucket, 1824. Since then, the police have continued to develop, to gain funding, and to continuously become more powerful to keep down organized labor, and in particular to keep down black and brown communities. You have to think to yourselves, which side of this long, difficult history do you want to be on now? So right now, we've got a point where we have the political backing and energy to break this cycle, to break this history, to stop giving more and more funding to this institution that was built to oppress the people you're elected to represent. Thank you.